Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Capricorn their monthly love read. Capricorns, this is for February 2022. Um, we're doing something a little different today. I am doing, um, instead of past, present, and future, I'm doing what's coming towards you in love, what is the blockage, and then what is the outcome, and then we're going to get some message cards as well. So we'll see what we got going for you guys, Capricorns, um, in this love read. These are general reads, so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read or this is just not resonating, you can check your moon and your rising signs if you'd like to. Um, if you feel like um, this is just really not it. If you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to um, a website to give you that information. And then there is also a link in the description box to get you to my personal page for a read. Pretty inexpensive if you're interested. Um, there's directions on how to get that too. So uh, thank you for watching. I do guys, I do really appreciate you guys coming to my channel. Um, oh, we have some really good energy in the outcome, guys. Uh, your bottom of the deck energy is the Knight of Swords. Oh, under that is moving on to calmer waters, but. Um, I feel like this is going to be somebody kind of rushing towards you. This is going to be someone of the energy of something rushing towards you. Maybe some really good messages, positive messages. Um, if this is a person, they're going to be really um, good sense of humor, intellectually stimulating, have a good conversation. But I feel like this is more of a message energy, messages coming in towards you, rushing towards you. Um, what's coming towards you? is a lot of passion. We have three wands, three cards of wands. So we have the, I'm throwing my cards. We have the king of wands here. So this is a very passionate, fiery, sexy leader kind of person. This is a person that um, takes charge. I mean, smoldering, sexy, flirty, very intense chemistry. Could be a fire sign with, especially with all these being um, wands, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But definitely passionate, definitely sexy, definitely like undeniable chemistry. However, that might come with some competition or some conflict. Um, I've not been really clarifying a lot, but I, I may. This is coming with some conflict or competition. So you might not be the only person that this this person is interested in. Or, or you might decide you need to pick a path. Like, do I go towards this guy He seems, or girl? They seem like they're really flirty. They seem like they might be a player. They seem like they might have a lot of people chasing them. And I'm not really down to compete because you either want me or you don't. Um, so you might be picking a path of what to do. You know, what do I do? Do I go towards them? Um, do I do I go somewhere else? Um, you, um, your blockage is the Eight of Swords. So the blockage is overthinking. The blockage is being stuck up in your head. The blockage is self-sabotaging. You're currently self-sabotaging -sab self the potential for this relationship to move forward. Um, you are stuck in your head and you're looking at the negatives. If this gentleman or lady, this passionate, flirty, sexy person is coming to you and telling you they're loving you or wanting to be with you or wanting to date you, regardless of if there are other people competing for your attention, that doesn't mean they're taking him up, taking them up on that attention, right? So you need to get out of your head thinking like, oh gosh, they're not going to pick me. Why would they pick me? Get out of your head. If they're coming towards you, they're coming towards you for a reason. And down here is showing that this is a true love connection. So they're coming towards you with all this passion and they have love for you. They're, I don't think they're interested in the people that is, that, that, that is showing up as competition. I think they're interested in you, but you're blocking that. You're blocking that with all the thoughts in your head. Um, the Eight of Cups, I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Cups are your outcome. Amazing. So this is going to be a potentially really um, divinely guided connection. This is like a soulmate energy, like working on building the love that you want. There's definitely going to be true love offered here with the Ace of Cups, a new start in love, and the Page of Cups. Could potentially be apology, so it could be someone you know that you had love with before, or it could be a, a love offer, a romantic proposal, engagement, a gesture, 
and love. Um, definitely someone bringing some good messages, might be texting you, telling you that they love you, but they're coming with an overflowing cup of love, wanting to give it to you. They're willing to work hard and build this relationship together with you. Um, you are willing to work hard with them too. You just need to get out of your head. All right, guys, we're going to get some message cards. These are Destined Love Oracle cards. We'll get a few of these for Capricorn settling. Retreat and dreams, affections on the bottom. I feel like, um, I don't think you feel like you're settling. This card is interesting. Maybe you do. Maybe you're worried that you're settling. Um, I feel like, I feel like you're more denying the true connections that, that is there. So, you know, maybe your path, maybe you're contemplating settling versus going into this conflictually hot, steamy, sexy situation. <laughs> Um, maybe you're trying to pick the le the the road of less resistance, um, but I think uh, you will need to kind of tap into your dreams. Maybe do uh, maybe retreat slightly. This is like with two people, so this could be like a honeymoon type energy. But maybe just kind of take a step back and just take time with this person and zone out all the other people. Kind of reminds me of like the bachelor bachelorette energy, right? Where you know that there's all these people pining for your person. Um, but just focus on the moments with them and retreat with them. And, and maybe your dreams are trying to tell you something. Maybe some things are coming through in dreams. Um, hopefully uh, good messages and not things that are causing you to continue to self-doubt. We're going to get a couple of love vibes from King of Aloha. What does Capricorn need to see in terms of these love vibes? I know that we're soulmates. Maybe this person's coming at you hard and you're like, holy smokes. Woo, I can't take all this passion. I don't know if we're I don't know if we're soulmates because you're so intense. Um, I get jealous of how you interact with others. Okay, so this could be this card of conflict and competition, right? Maybe you're just not comfortable with all the attention your person gets. But your person's telling you, I know we're soulmates. Um so yeah, I feel like that's potentially the situation. Then there's also on the bottom of the deck, I'm pushing you away because I'm pursuing other connections. I feel like that's you. I don't think that's them. <laughs> I think you're pursuing other connections when you know you have this passionate, amazing connection in front of you and you're just getting in your head about it. Go for it. All right, we're going to get a couple of Hermit Tarot cards. These are Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. Oh, golly gee. Do I want to take all five or do I want to put them back? I'll take them. Ace of Swords. So uh, mental clarity, new start. Ace of Pentacles, stable, long-term committed connection. Um, your family won't like me. Maybe that's one of your thoughts. You're afraid that this person's family won't like you. I worry about us a lot. Well, no shit, Dick Tracy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is you worrying about them a lot. Um, think before you act. I think you're doing way too much thinking. I think we have a new start with clarity, a new stable, long-term committed energy, a new love. You have all this stuff. I wish the fool card was just like, come at me. Like, come, come on, let's go. Um, I do think your person's coming at you pretty quick. And that's what's freaking you out. And they're passionate and they're sexy. And people want to be, the, be with them. And you're like, why are you picking me? Well, this can't be right. They want you. They love you. Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. They love, love, love you. Like real love, love, love you. All right, we're going to get a Flames of uh, Truth Oracle card from Angelic Revelation. It says, my biggest regret is making promises I didn't keep. I really let us both down. Maybe this Page of Cups is you apologizing to them. I don't know. All right, guys. Oh, I guess that card flew out. Okay, so these are Heart Songs, Celestial Forecast by Carrie Makes Them. Um, songs in the key of love. These are lyrics that are on the card. So the lyric itself might resonate with you personally. So it might be like, oh my gosh, yes, this was my favorite song. Um, it could resonate with you and the person that you're thinking about, or it could just be that you need to listen to the, the lyric as a message. Okay. So the song you guys got is Can't Be Friends by Trey Songs. <laughs> I wish we never did it. I wish we, we never loved it. I wish I never fell so deep in love with you. And now ain't no way we can be friends. The way it felt, no faking it. Maybe we're just moving a little too fast, but we don't know we can't, but we've, blah, 
but what we've done, we can't take it back. Now I'm sitting here half crazy, halfway crazy. Yes. Um, so to me, I feel like your person showed you all that passion that you have. You feel all that intense chemistry. And now you're like, I wish we never did this because now I can't stop thinking about you. But I'm not sure this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I think you're supposed to be doing that. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, that's going to do it for Capricorn's Read. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.